Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on our 2015 Kawasaki Vaquero. Pretty simple process. It starts by just cranking it up, let the oil get circulating, get it good and heated up to operating temperature. Then I'm going to lift it up and show you how to get it done. So let's get started. All right, guys, a pretty short list today. You're really going to need the 65 millimeter oil filter wrench to get up in there to get that filter off. Just a standard 17 millimeter socket, a decent 3 8 um, ratchet, and then a, a, a torque wrench that gets down to some pretty low numbers because we're, we're in the 13 and 14 foot pound range. And then just a regular old funnel. That's all you're going to need to get this done. All right, guys, we've got her up in the air. Everything's heated up and ready to roll. There's a couple of different oils you can go with. You have the standard 10W40, which uh, Kawasaki recommends as far as the viscosity. And then you've got a full synthetic also from Kawasaki. I've decided to go with the full synthetic. It runs a little bit cooler in the machine and you can go further in between oil changes. So that's my weapon of choice. So that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, to drain, go ahead and pull the, uh, the fill cap. And then under the, uh, about the center of the machine, you're gonna find not one, but two 17 millimeter drain plugs. There's one here, and then another one right there. So we need to get both of those pulled to get all of the oil out of the machine. So let's go ahead and break them loose. Get our oil pan under here and get those pulled out. Let's get that one in the back. Gonna go ahead and let that drain all the way out. As you can tell, it, uh, it holds a pretty good bit. Uh, with an oil filter change, about four and a half quarts. So you need to go ahead and uh, buy five and that'll get the job done. All right, guys, we've got the, uh, the oil drained out, and we're getting ready to put our plugs back in. Kawasaki recommends that you replace what they call a, a gasket. Cheap insurance to keep your bike from leaking. Not that expensive, so I'd follow uh, Kawasaki's recommendation and go and replace the things. All right, let's get these drain plugs back in. Kind of doing this blind. There's the back one. Let's get the front one. All right, next we want to get them torqued down, and there isn't a whole lot of torque involved. Remember, this is aluminum that we're dealing with. Uh, the torque setting on the front and the back is just 14 foot-pounds. All right, next, let's go ahead and get that uh, oil filter off the front. It's kind of hidden up in there, but it is actually facing like this up high on the other side. And what we're going to use to get that is an oil filter wrench, just like that. And make sure you've got your drain pan under there because a fair amount's going to come out once that seal separates from the engine case. Next, we're going to take just a little dab of oil just to coat that seal before we put it on. All right, believe it or not, oil filter actually has a torque setting as well and that's 13 foot-pounds. It's not going to let me get it up under there. So if you can get your wrench up under there and hit that 13, I'd recommend that. I've done a few thousand of these so my internal torque wrench tells me that's 13. Alright, let's get her refilled. What we're going to do just going to go ahead and uh, dump in four quarts, crank it up, let it circulate for just a minute, and then uh, check our level and fill it up to the mark. All right, guys, so we've got our four quarts in. What I want to do now is go ahead and take out our funnel, put in our uh, dipstick, and we're going to crank it up. We're going to let it idle for about two or three minutes. Make sure you do not touch the throttle because uh, this is actually a dry sump oil system. And if you start blipping the throttle, it'll 
put too much oil into the oil filter, and uh, that's not the way you're supposed to check these things. Let it run for about three or four minutes, st shut it off, and then let it sit for about three minutes, and then we'll, uh, then we'll check the level. So let's get her started up. All right, we've let it warm up. That was a good four or five minutes there. Maybe take a little bit longer if you're really in a cold environment. Believe me, it's not cold where I am right now. So this, she's plenty warmed up. So what are we going to do next? We're going to wait three minutes, and then we're going to check it. All right, guys, it's been three minutes. Let's pull out the dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it. And yes, you do have to turn it all the way in to get an accurate reading. All right, we're right there. So we can still dump in a little bit more because like I said, uh, the Kawasaki book says that we need uh, four and a half after an oil change with the filter change. That should be about a half. Now, let's see where we are. All right, we are right there. And that's exactly where I want to be. Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. The only thing we have to do now is just uh, take the oil to the recycler, and that's really about it. Well, listen, if you need any of the parts or chemicals that we use, come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.